Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of multitasking. I have to do an oil change on the truck here. And I also needed to get a video out here thanking everybody for the Movember donations. We did an awesome job raising money for a great cause. So let me go ahead and get some cars moved around here so I can get to getting this oil change done. So guys, we were able to raise a total of $3,400 with uh, just this one little YouTube channel, which uh, I think is pretty amazing. You know, we have at this point 17,600 and change uh, subscribers. I appreciate everybody who's uh, jumped along here for the, for the ride. I mean, I love doing this YouTube thing. Uh, I think it's absolutely awesome. This has been a really amazing journey for me and the fact that uh, this November uh, calling on all of the, you guys to donate to a great cause with Movember that uh, we were able to come up with 3,500 bucks or just under 3,500 bucks. I set a goal of 2,500 and uh, kind of crushed it. So the reason why I picked Movember, I just feel like in 2020, things have been really quite bizarre. Um, a lot of people have, have lost jobs, um, have lost family members. Uh, Movember being a cause that focuses on men's mental health, suicide prevention and uh, things like that. I just found it appropriate. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out. I wasn't sure how it would be received from my subscribers or uh, you know, people in general. And I was very happy to see the overwhelming support uh, rather early on. Um, by the way, I see this trend on social media about people trying to pull the plug without getting oil all over their hands. I don't give a shit how fast you think you are. When you're taking the plug in the bottom the of an oil drop, pan, so. nobody nope. is fast enough to do it without getting oil all over their hands. Change my mind. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. <laughs> like I said, we were able to uh, to raise thirty four hundred dollars, and uh, I know it's a drop in the bucket when it comes to what that uh, means for the charity. But uh, what's most important to me is that it does show that um, there is. A level of support out there on social media and I was thinking about this earlier today if I tried to raise money myself uh, at my full-time job I never ever would have been able to raise that much so um, this community is, is amazing so am I going to make this a an annual thing I, I've been asked that by a couple people uh, I do not know at this point I think I will I'm pretty sure it's something that um, I'm gonna make a habit of on this channel because uh, it's good. I'm not sure if I'll go with Movember again or if I'll pick a new charity every year. I kind of like the idea of doing a new charity every year, uh, but that is something I still need to kind of think about. This was a bit of a trial run on uh, utilizing the charity um, feature in general. And I would, again, I would call it an, an overwhelming success from my uh, relatively modest sized YouTube channel. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you think it's something I should make uh, an annual uh, fundraiser, uh, what charities maybe I should consider for next year. Now I also have to mention, I do know that I said that I was going to do a video a day through November and uh, I actually ended up only finishing at 22, which was a combination of uh, live streams and uh, published videos. It, it is way harder than I thought to do a daily video from somebody who is a part-time YouTuber and has a full-time uh, big boy job, <laughs> taking a lot of hours a week uh, on top of, of doing the YouTube channel, on top of being a father, husband, and, and all of those things. So uh, also with the holidays and all that stuff, there's just a lot, it, it's a lot. I'm not, not complaining, it's, it's awesome, I enjoy doing it. Um, I, I, I love where I'm at right now with everything. Uh, it just is a lot of time and commitment to uh, dedicate to a video a day. Now, one thing that I've learned through this whole process is that live streaming is way more fun than I had ever really thought it would be. I don't do a lot of it, 
uh, I haven't done a lot of it, partially because when my channel was smaller, I just found there wasn't a lot of interaction. That's changed quite a bit. Uh, I was having some great live streaming sessions here that were uh, pushing an hour long, and uh, there was just a ton of interaction, and it makes it so much more fun. By the way, first time I'm trying Kirkland oil. Um, $24.99 for 10 quarts of fully synthetic um, 0W20 motor oil. It's a crazy good deal. So usually I go off Amazon, but we'll give the Kirkland stuff a try. It's all basically the same. As a matter of fact, I think it is the same. Manufactured by Warren, manufactured by Warren. So this is what I usually use, Amazon. They're manufactured by the same company. And they are both, let's see, API SN, SN plus. Um, so the same SAE ratings. So basically the same stuff for much cheaper from Kirkland. So uh, yeah, the live streaming has been uh, really a, a, an amazingly fun thing for me. And uh, I'm really excited that um, I somewhat discovered that through this process, uh, it's been uh, really great and, and fun interacting with with all the subscribers. So uh, to each and every one of you that had uh, contributed to those live streams, um, I, I, I appreciate the lesson that I learned um, through all of that. So guys, let me know what you thought about it. Was it overly annoying? Uh, do you think it was worth it? Did you enjoy the content? Was it oversaturation of content? Um, you know, it's always difficult when you're just uh, trying to do your best to entertain people uh, and also raise money and, and do it in a way that um, doesn't kind of shy people away. Um, I found that to be a rather interesting balance and uh, tightrope walk to, uh, to, try to try to walk. Uh, I was intending to do a lot of moto vlogging uh, as much as I possibly could. And then I realized that maybe that was a little bit annoying. So I tried to switch into the studio, uh, switch things up. And then the last video that I did, which was my Harley Davidson 2021 lineup video, uh, was a more heavily produced, uh, took about two days type of video that I actually quite rather enjoy uh, putting together. That stuff I find to be um, the most challenging for me and uh, the most rewarding to uh, to assemble that. So if you're a new subscriber that jumped on because of that video, again, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, so I do try to kind of keep things different on this channel. Um, I try to keep it um, different for, for me because in order for me to fire up this camera, uh, I like it to feel like a uh, something I enjoy doing. So um, not just being stuck into one uh, genre, so to speak, which in turn to me makes it feel like it's more of just another job. And I enjoy the communication with the subscribers. I enjoy the, uh, the growth and uh, the people that kind of stick around more for me than specifically um, just to see motorcycle content. There's nothing wrong with that. And um, I subscribe to several channels where I basically watch for specifically motorcycle content. Um, but I don't want to feel pigeonholed. Uh, I don't want to feel like that's the only thing that I do, um, even though it is a lot of what I do. So the moral of this video is that I'm just trying to say thank you guys for um, all of the support, not only in the fundraiser, but in, uh, in everything I do on this channel. Uh, I understand that, um, you know, as a consumer of YouTube, sometimes you get tired of content. Sometimes you unsubscribe from things. I do the same thing. Uh, I don't take offense to it. I never have, never will. Uh, I just enjoy uh, spending time putting videos together and posting them on this platform. Um, it's something I've been doing for four or five years now going on and um, just truly enjoy um, pretty much everything about it. Uh, with all that being said, guys, uh, again, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for all the support. Uh, it truly is uh, incredible and, and I am grateful for, uh, for all of it. Uh, incredibly grateful. So uh, thank you very much, guys. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.